Here she comes. See what these boys got. Here she comes, Timber. Boom. Wow. Threat number one eliminated. There she goes. Timber. Tree number two down. Ten feet away from the house, guys. I don't sleep good when there's storms. I, you can see why. And I'll sleep good tonight, and we're gonna get a storm. Uh, getting out for something. Can't get it or
Alright guys, I've been hard at it all morning. Uh, busted the bar on my still. Had to bust out the Husqvarna. It hasn't run in two years, but I've already fired it up. So I'm going to have to get a new bar for that. This is a smaller one, 12 inch, but it'll, it'll get some of these smaller ones done. Oh man. It's so nice to be out here and not have to worry about a limb coming down on you from those trees. And there's going to be a lot of work here, guys. All right, let me get old Husky fired up and get going again. Well, had to relocate Miss Libby Lou. Temporarily, we're going to put her doghouse in that right in here. Nice and shady. I'm not worried about those cedars. She'll like it in there. What do you think, baby girl? Yeah, your whole life's turned upside down, isn't it? She'll be all right. Your new place is going to be better. But it's easier for me to put you up at night right here. All right. Here's what we got, man. I can, if I could only tell you how tired I am right now. I'm not used to that kind of work. But I cut almost everywhere I could reach. I cut all the limbs off. Uh, I'm going to move everything out to the side so we can get the big pieces out they'll probably cut them nine ten foot lengths maybe eight foot don't know but i could not get in the middle i had chainsaw issues uh finally the husky it just gets overheated and it won't want to start back up it'll run a while and then it's fine but uh i'll get the rest of this cut up i don't know i might need a day to recover that's a lot of cuts i've got stuff everywhere and then we're all gonna, and then I'm gonna pile it all up right about in there and burn it. Burn what I can. Not much good for firewood. Pine sucks. But, uh, that was the twin tree. Look at that split right at the bottom there. Still 70 foot tall. Not anymore. There's some good lumber there. That's a good straight tree all the way up. And uh, this was the one by the house. That was uh, the one that scared me the most. And it was the biggest. Looks a whole lot different with that gone. Now I just have to work on getting these skunks, <laughs> stumps down. I don't have a chainsaw big enough, but uh, I might get one. Or maybe I can rent one. I need a big old rancher for these. What are you over there barking about? And I got some repairs to do. There was a hole in the bottom of her doghouse I didn't know about. But I can't get that thing over there. It rolls pretty good, end over end, but I can't get past all this stuff here. Let's walk around on this side, guys. And I know some of this quality of this filming this thing wasn't the best. I was not ready for it. They show up, hey man, let's do it, and you do it. And that was the other tree. I got all this cut up today. I worked about six hours cut, doing nothing but cutting. Look at all these limbs. And the bugs are horrendous today. I wanted to get these down. Now this I really couldn't, the chainsaw started acting up. I crawled all the way in there and it was acting up. But guys, these trees are humongous. I mean, this, this goes up to my waist almost, right there. I cut all that stuff up. Then I'm going to drag it right about there once he gets these out of here. Set her on fire when we got a good fire. A good day to burn. But it's nice and green. Probably want to let it dry up a little bit. But I, I can't have it here forever. But we'll get to it. And probably going to take a few more down. I've got a, I'd like to thin that out over in there. Take out some of the smaller ones. Uh, and the dogs are all stressed. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this video wasn't as long as the other one. And I'm sorry for the quality of the footage, but... When you're working and trying to get this stuff done, I don't have a camera crew. 
and I'm going to be very busy the next several weeks. So, appreciate it, guys. Happy trails.